What's up, Nazy Bitch Nation? We are back for day 20, which was yesterday. I do not know why my hair looks orange in this office, but it does. I am at my family business, um, and I'm waiting on a meeting that I have in 17 minutes. Uh, via Zoom, of course. Why would I show up looking like this? But on the plus side, we can do all of day 20 in one episode because it's going to take me about two seconds. Hello to everybody that is new. I'm so glad you all are here. Um, if you haven't already, go watch the trailer for season four of the Piketon Massacre podcast. No, I'm not sponsored. They don't know I exist. I wish they did. So on day 20, we spent the entire day going over guns. Lots of guns. Lots of ammunition, lots of stuff, and not a single bit of it was used in the murders. Now, why did we go over all of this, you may ask? Well, if you recall from my summary of last week, Jake Wagner is a dumbass and left a list of all the guns that the family owns in a note on his phone under names. Now, the important part of that is that one of the murder weapons was owned by Jake, a 1911 pistol, and the other one, an SKS rifle, was listed as owned by George. That is really the first piece of direct evidence that we have seen George um, be involved with. So yesterday morning started with an argument by the defense that these guns were irrelevant, um, that this all should be thrown out, and the judge uh, denied that. And for once, Angela Canepa was on there actually like fighting for something. And it's about friggin' time. So while none of these guns are the murder weapons, basically what it does is that it corroborates that these guns were owned by the Wagners. That these were left at Frederica's house, the Flying W Farm. And this was the search warrant that was executed in 2017, 2018, um, while the Wagners were in Alaska. And they left all of the guns at the grandmother and mother's house, you know, Frederica. They left them all at the farm in a gun safe and a server, a search warrant was served and they found all the guns and the guns matched a list that was on Jake's phone that was firearms listed underneath each family member's names. Now, there is an audio interview of George saying that this was not a list of firearms that were owned. This was a list of a firearms they wanted, that it was a wish list for guns that they wanted. Now, I've got a wish list, too, and I have never fully bought everything on it, but apparently the Wagners did, according to George. I don't know when we're going to get to hear that audio, but at some point we will. So, the whole day was spent going over these different guns. Do they match the list? Were they in the gun safe? That's all for day 20. See you later on today, maybe tomorrow for 20. I lied, it's not one video. Um, so, super important note that I didn't include for some reason. Um, doing this search warrant, they found... 17 of 21 guns and two of the guns missing were the murder weapons correction the ones that matched the murder weapons allegedly 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 but you know it was a wish list christmas list if you will <laughs>